Welcome everyone to our fucking place. Thought we'd try out Symphony of a War. I haven't played this before. Um, and apparently it's very much like Ogre Battles. But I didn't play that either back in the day. Um, but it's a fantasy tactical RPG. Let's read the little blurb here. Enter Tanra, a land savaged by war. You, a fresh academy graduate with humble beginnings, will grow to lead a grand army against a corrupt adversary. Gather heroes, form bonds, and lead your forces in a turn-based battle. Make use of tactics, terrain, morale, and more to bring peace to the land. All right. Uh, enemies are well balanced. Several key levels can be moderately challenging. No permadeath if your units fall in battle. Great starting point for most players. Okay. Start a new game with these settings. Let's go. Ah, there you are, child of destiny. You have arrived at a very opportune time, you will find. Let me look into your heart. Who are you? Will your journey be marked by virtue? Or will this land's people remember you as an adversary? As a potential ruler in difficult times, what are your most effective tools? Inspiring charisma. You must give up your most valuable possession. What is it? We're going to be using a lot of wealth to create armies. What is the most important trait a leader should have? Um... I don't know, what should we do here? A leader. We need to bring people together. What do you look for most in a mate? Hmm. Intellect. So they have to keep up with our strategy. What most leads to the downfall of a great civilization? Hmm. Depends what place we are in. If we've got gods everywhere, faithlessness might be a one. Poverty. Poverty is a big problem. Which form suits us? We'll go with the man. All right. What should I uh, name it be? Page. Is that back? Oh. How do we go back? <laughs> oh, there we go. We got it. Um, what shall we do? Mr. Whitey? We'll do the Mr. Whitey. Where's the tea? We'll do witty. Alright. We'll do white tea. We got it. So you have chosen male and Mr. Whitey. Thank you. What an intriguing soul. Go. And I will see you here again when the time is right. Commander Whitey, ready for command. Armitage, year 972. Capital city, Emperor of Verindia. Verindia. Pretty nice cottage there. Manor. Looks like a church or something. A baby is born by the gods. The child survived. And the father? 
perished fighting for the nobles, just like most of the young in this town. The mother prepared name for his, for this. This one shall be named Whitey. He is so beautiful. May he live to see a better world. Twenty-five years passes. Fort Eureka! The world of Tanra. In the 997th year of our age, three realms ruled this land. Sayanna, the desert kingdom, whose wealth earned it the title of Kingdom of Gold. The technologically advanced Free Republic of Sandreka. And the massive place Hegemonic Empire of Viridia. The world's military and economic superpower. Where our story begins. One generation ago, multiple bids for the Viridian Imperial, Imperial Throne plunged the land into war. This is known as the War of Viridian Succession. The long and bloody war ended with the coronation of Empress Florina. Flor Florina. The long and... Oh, wait there. However, it left deep scars in the people's hearts. As resentment against the excesses of the ruling class rose to the boiling point. Common people who had lost so much were forced to endure increasing hardship as the emperor sought to rebuild. 25 years after the end of the succession war, a man named Antares, a battle-worn general, kidnapped the empress and formed his own army in an act of open rebellion. Wow. He's at East Wall. He now controls a territory in the forest known as East Wall District. Driven by what he believes to be undue hardship by the central government, Antares threatens to sack the imperial capital of his of capital if his demands are not met. The ambitious Prime Minister, Kazmir, has called the general's bluff and has decided to take military action. He orders a force sent and Terry's stronghold at Eastwood Fortress. Two young and promising Imperial Army officers, Whitey and his longtime friend Zelos, have prepared to meet General and Terrace in battle. Little could they know how much their adventures would change the course of history. We're going to join his war, are we? The Imperial Army Encampment, East Wall Province. Let us raise a glass to my friend Whitey. Hey! Bet you all thought he wouldn't make it this far. Now ready to lead his first squad into battle, but I knew better. Not in the celebrating mood, eh, Whitey? There's a lot on the line. The Empress's life in our hands. I'm not worried. I doubt these guys will keep up with you. It helps having one man army on our midst. I'm just a man. We've got the gods on our side. I'm going to trust in my soldiers. Not some idea. Don't tell me believe in those fairy tales now. Don't underestimate the power of ideas. Look at how this empire started to forget the ideas they built it. They built it. Oh, it's a pain where it just adds the letters instead of wiping the whole screen. With a proper leader, people would gain, f would again feel a part of something. There would no be no generals going rogue. We've come a long way since the academy, but now we face the real thing. Come, Whitey, let's brush up a bit. He looks way stronger than we do. It is like a game of chess. You will command groups of soldiers known as squads, and each short squad will have a leader. You appear as blue, and the enemy team appears red. Time to engage in combat. First, you must move your squad next to mine. 
Select your squad, then select the tile next to my squad on the map to move. Player face. Right, now it's time to attack. Choose the attack option, then target me. Careful, defenders will counterattack if they can. This isn't exactly fair. I am one soldier with one sword. You're going to command a whole army someday. You just must think of yourself as a leader, and your followers are your sword and shield. First thing, first, show me what you've got. Attack Zelos. Moral good, moral good. Okay, he destroyed me. Not bad. Now let's raise the stakes. You're now leading a squad with a good balance of troop types. Uh, you've got heavily armored troops in front or heavy infantry. Uh, always rely on heavy infantry to serve as backbones of your army. Not only to protect weaker allies, but to rush down and attack. Your squad also has three archers. Long range troops are not as sturdy, but you can attack from a distance, avoiding counter attack. Your turn is up for now. Access the menu and end turn to proceed. The menu? Oh, okay. Enemy face. Player face. Now you're ready. Attack me and try to take me down. Bam. Nothing to it. There's a great deal more to learn. But for now, you should be able to lead our forces against and terrace. As we progress, tutorials will pop up and you'll be able to access them whenever you want. Aren't you a bit early, Scout? We saw Antares men celebrating in the outlying villages. The rebels have begun raiding the locals. General Antares has stopped, stooped to this. How far will he fall since the succession war? Send word to the capital. Maybe they can send us a real army. You heard that right. I did. Zelos, I know that you are thinking, how do you plan on explaining this to the higher-ups? Bah, don't worry about them. You, me, and just our troops. Once we take down this rebellion, we'll be celebrities. What do you say? Okay, Zelos, I'm with you. But I'm calling the shots this time. Fine by me. I've got your back, Whitey. Good. Looks like they haven't seen set, set much out yet. You should take these guys out to get some battle experience. You can move your squad next to the enemy soldier and attack. If you run into trouble, I'm right behind you. Take a break, Zealous. I've got this. We got smashed by him one on one, and now we've completely changed our tune. All right, what do we got here? We've got a healer, maybe a medic, and two fighters. Your command. And he's got himself and two archers. Okay. For my people, for my homeland. For my people. Gone. It's a mine. Get three iron. What's this extra movement thing? Not sure. Alright, uh, we've got to press escape and turn. They're going for us. Good to us. Get experience. We took some damage in that fight. But we can heal it back by having our support units, such as the medic in your squad. Uh, while they cannot attack, support units help them greatly to keep soldiers losing losses to a minimum. Don't worry, if any of our troops fall in battle, they can recover at the end of the mission. 
This is this is really annoying how it just suddenly adds the text on the end. Next, we need to capture that town so we can liberate it from the rebels. Move any squad to the town front gate and seize it. The, the army is plotting. Oh, no. Oh. Seize. Objective captured. Wow. Good. We liberated the town and got some gold and XP for our trouble. We'll need gold for a lot of things. Recruiting new troops, hiring mercenaries, buying artifacts, among others. Faction XP allows us to increase faction rank. As the faction rank increases, our reputation will improve among the people. This will yield better shop prices, discover new technology, attract new recruits, and intimidate our enemies. The squad who captures objectives gets leadership loyalty XP as well. Okay, I should have done that then, maybe. I'll take the castle. The Imperial Army has already arrived, much sooner than I expected. Wolfgar, I'm trusting you to lead our troops here. If you hold the Fort River Fortress, we should be safe here. I'll make them regret coming here. Don't worry, General. Who are these people on the side? Looks like we just made it in time. Are you ready for this, Sybil? Are you kidding, Jules? I've been waiting for ages for a chance to prove my mettle. Come and get it, rebel scum. Your squad is tougher soldiers, so you should stay in front. Mine will provide long-range archers attacks from a safe distance. See that hill? That's high ground. Very useful, especially for archers like me. Move me onto the hill so I can shoot further than normal. Over there, to the east. I think that's Jules and a fellow Imperial Academy, a cadet of mine. Should meet up with them and join all our forces together. How can I help, my lord? Um. Okay. Will the archers attack us back? No. Okay. I'm just getting started. She's just getting started. Okay. I can I still move. Strong. Heal three. What? Remaining healers one. Wait. Okay. I'm not sure what that does. Maybe you can use three heals to heal up all your troops to max. Three times in the battle. Alright. Enemy phase. Shouldn't he have moved back one and attacked us? What's the stars? If we can take that river fortress, the, the path to the main enemy base will be clear. Is this the river fortress? Um, clear. Forts give defense and bonuses and allow archers to shoot further. And that goes for both sides, so we can underestimate those defenders. Oh, is he in a fort? Oh, he's in a fort. Okay. Can we move up with the WSD? We can, but it kind of moves the whole thing. Alright, fair enough. Here goes nothing. So we can't move past this guy. Can we? Let's see if we can kill him in one shot. He can. Does that mean we can get past and get the archers? So, I don't know how far that guy can shoot. But he's probably going to stay in his uh, fort there. Leveled up! He will always find a way. Let's weaken them. And then go for the attack. Here comes Sybil. Here I come. Noise. So we can join our forces together. See that town? To win wars, we must secure objectives. 
Objectives can be towns, mines, stables, or military bases. Towns like this or gold mines provide gold. Any of our squads can capture objectives. There, that's East Wall Fortress, home base of the enemy. That's a heavily fortified castle like most home bases. It provides defensive bonuses to soldiers stationed there. Do not underestimate any base defender, even these clowns. There'll be a time, there will be times when we are operating out of our home base. When that happens, you must defend it at all costs. If the enemy reaches our home base, it will force us into defeat. Alright, why are these guys got exclamation marks? So we can't actually join troops up. Stay strong, everyone. Oh, is Jules a... No, I don't think so. I think she's a lady. Time to end this. Maybe she's not. I'm not sure. Um, okay. I don't know if we can merge or not. Let's grab this. We've secured the iron mine. With three iron we just gained, we can upgrade our troops more advanced classes. The resources are not consumed, just allocated. Meaning we can change classes without any risk at all. Feel free to experiment. What? Ready. Use a tome to learn a trait in the slot. Oh, wait there. Light capacity threat. All right, I have no idea how to do that. Maybe here, squad list. Okay. Um what does this guy got? Archers at the back. How can I help Let's see if we can join these people together. We just can't help crossing paths, Jules. Jules! Wait. <laughs> Looks like we're just in this together, huh? Whitey! Maybe that is a guy. What an honor to fight by your side in our first mission. But, Central Command didn't say you'd be here. Was there some sort of mistake? We decided to improvise. Anyway, glad to have your L Rangers here among us. With clever planning, our troops can be picked off enemies without fear of counterattack. Unless they have their own archers, of course. So you're leading this mission? Uh, wow, I always knew you'd do great things, Whitey. Come on, Jules. You'd say that no matter what end I ended up doing. Shuffle. Oh. He will always find a way. Okay. So it doesn't look like we can join the groups. I'm just getting started. Well met. You are with the Imperial Army? Name's Sibyl, Battle Maiden of Verendia. Uh, Jules and I went set up the river to try and outflank the rebels. That's an impressive title, but you wear the garb of a temple priestess. Yeah, so what? Healing just is just as important as hurting, isn't it? Of course. We're fortunate to have a priestess among us. Okay, so we'll just wait. Or she can heal my troops. Wait, wouldn't it heal that one? I'm confused. For Viridia! For Viridia! Can they attack? Oh, Jesus, that was lucky. Alright, I said if they've got archers, they'll attack back. Let's have a look at what happens. Look okay, how they do. Okay. Good to know. We should be able to take them out now, though. We've got some roast beef. Beef. Wait there, cancel. What do we got here? These old guys need healing. They'll notice this one for sure. Heal two. 
So we get to choose who it heals, and it heals one. Okay. I'm just getting started. Alright, we'll heal her up. Uh, can you grab this? Oh, we're not. We need one more movement point. Okay. Looks like we're in any massive hurry. Maybe we are. We've really got to, we've really got them on the run now. The river fortress is ours. Time to take down the local rebel commander at East Wall. Damn imperial dogs! They are really ruthless. Ruthless. The rest of you, get out of there and stop them. Our cause will not be stuffed snuffed out here. I would have stayed in the castle. Looks like we've got another fight on our hands. Whitey, we'll count on you as the army leader to destroy the enemy. Hopefully their leaders will get the message and lay down their weapons. Here goes nothing. Objective captured. Alright, what have they got? Archers, non-archers, and non-archers. Oh, she heals instantly, fair enough. Here comes Sybil, ready or not. Alright, one's gone. We'll take the archers, maybe. I must stay strong. I don't know. Maybe these guys then. They could probably attack from range or something. Oh! Big heals. Alright. They're gonna hurt. Going for the archers? Harsh, mate. Oof. One's lost. Oh, they can get around and kill them again. Okay. Do we get them back or are they just dead forever? Interesting. Wonder if flanking them gets any better. She seems pretty strong. The battle lies before me. Oh, what did she do? She couldn't fight, so she ran. Your command. Your command. Doom, doom. Okay. The time to act is now. God, we can't reach this still. God damn it. Let's heal that guy. Alright. And we kind of want to wait for a turn. So we can all attack him at I'm once. Maybe. I guess we'll just wait. Because I guess we would need this money. I don't know how we upgrade. Maybe we upgrade later. Oh. They can attack us. I don't like it that we've uh, lost a person already. We have to be really careful with archers. Direct my blade. Wait, can we attack in two squares up? Is that what it's saying here? Here goes nothing. Oh, we can. Oh, because we're using our archers. I see. Your command. Okay. Can she attack? Heal and wait. Okay. That's it. Oh, that can. Oh, they're attacking only with archers. Okay. I get you. For my people, for my homeland. Can't heal sideways. 
All right, mate, you've got this. The crown is ours. They'll notice this one for sure. All right, what happens to our soldier that died? Chapter complete. No enemy squad destroyed by Zelos' squad. Wait, where was that? So we get extra things. Attack from a hill using that. Seize all map objectives. Surrenders. Bounty. Rank S. Okay. Didn't know there was extra bonus things that we could do. In a keep, Eastwall Fortress. We didn't fight this main dude. The Imperial Army has certainly wasted no time. We've got to escape to Scenario's Rest. And you think I will just willingly go with you? You will. We both know that the snakes in the capital city cannot be trusted. You're much safer here anyway with, the ske with their schemes. And Terrors, you're going to get yourself killed. You don't deserve this. I've already given my life, but so too will my men if we do not escape immediately. Please, we must go to Centuria's rest. We knew it. We had it already in one. We're going to join those forces. Save the game. Done. East Wall. With Eastwall Fortress secured by Whitey's army, General Antares retreats deeper into the forest, within the forest, to his stronghold at Centurion's Rest. Where's that? As Whitey's first mission ended in victory, the Emperor recognizes his promise as a commander and entrusts him to invade Centurion's Rest and destroy any rebel forces in the area. Into the forest. Despite Zelos' enthusiasm for victory in battle, the meaning of this rebellion begins to weigh on Whitey's mind. These are not an invading force. They are common people, fellow Viridians. Perhaps if Antares is brought to heal, there can be a quick end to the violence. Nice picture. The village of Eastwall. The people seem re uh, relieved to see us. See us. The fighting has left their doorsteps. Things can get back to normal. We have some time before our next mission. East Wall will be our home base for now. We can trade with the locals, maybe recruit some of them into our force. I'll be at the blacksmith, giving my gear a touch-up. Catch you later. Hey, Whitey, let me show you around. No need to rush. We can relax a bit now. We can talk and get caught up with each other. And as Zelos said, this is a chance for us to make improvements to our squad and troops trading with the locals. On the top is the resource bar. Uh, this shows how much gold, resources, and tech points we have. Where's my iron? On the top right, we can see our faction rank and progress towards the next rank. On the left are things that we can do on our home base. Uh, if you need me to walk you through these, click on the info icon and I'm happy to help. And or check out the tutorials option. Don't be afraid to check this anytime for helpful guides. When you're all finished with the home, just base, just deploy or to move on to the next chapter. Okay. East wall supports arena system for whose sake? All right, I think we'll leave it there for the start. Oh, here we go. There's our iron. And then we can um, have a look at all the stuff afterwards. There we go. Okay, so there's our first little hit at Symphony of War. Um, pretty cool so far. Definitely uh, play some more probably. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. That'd be great. Um, if you like this video and other videos and want to see more, uh, please subscribe. It really helps me out. And until next time. White Falcon out.